same days you just can't get your head around things. This is about take 200. I started yesterday actually. Hence the reason the next bit I had a different t-shirt on. I uh, just brought Bonzo out, the hound, for a walk. And I want to talk to you about water. Water in your motorhome or van. Or water in general really. So, why am I talking about water? Right, a little while ago when I was on that cesspit that is Facebook, I was on one of these motorhome groups and a lady went on and asked a very valid question and she said, can I drink the water out of my motorhome? And then some keyboard warrior flew on with a slapped face emoji saying, oh, here we go again. Right, so me being me, came to the defence of the lady and said, there's no such thing as a silly question. You might have heard the question before, but there may be another answer or someone else with a valid answer that might be able to add something to this conversation. And I said, during my 20 plus years of teaching bushcraft and survival, I've gleaned a little bit of knowledge about water. And let me enlighten you. Ra 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 ra. I went, not literally ra 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 ra, but I went off at him and uh, shut him right up. That really, let's just say, peeved me. Come on, Bonzo. That really peeved me. Now, that's why I wanted to talk to you about water, because obviously there's a lot of people thinking this. My mum doesn't like drinking the water out of her motorhome tank. They've got about a 10-year-old motorhome, and she uses two plastic bottles to make her tea with, etc which is fine. After 10 years, I don't know what's floating around in there, but it should be fine. Now, let's explain something. Our brains are around about, this is approximately, it's not 100% quantities, but your brain's about 75% water. Your brain lives in a canister made of bone and it floats around in a fluid, which is predominantly water. Your eyes are about 92% water. Now, obviously, our bodies contain a high concentrate of water. A 2% loss, e.g. dehydration, of your brain, 2%, it's not a lot, will start giving you severe problems. Headaches, confusion, reduce your cognitive abilities, and give you something that basically I can only describe as brain fog. So water plays a huge role in our well-being. It produces saliva, which helps us chew our food. It transfers nutrients from our food that we eat in our stomachs. It helps us to evacuate waste from our bodies in the form of excreta and urine and it also aids our sight obviously because our eyes are basically near enough all water now when you get dehydrated your vision can deteriorate your ability to focus and range find becomes worsened and when you're driving around obviously this is no good now we need to, excuse me if it's a bit windier, now we need to make sure that we drink enough water to replenish our reserves when they leave our bodies. Now, water leaves our bodies through urine, through stools when we go to the toilet, comes out from our breath, we breathe it out, Anyone that's ever slept with their head inside their sleeping bag on a cold day because they've got a cold face will know this. Okay, so water is leaving our body all day and all night. So we need to drink two to two and a half litres of water a day to stay fully hydrated. So where does this lead us to our motorhomes? Now, 
Firstly, we have to protect our water source in our motorhomes or vans at all cost. Now I've seen on a campsite, someone wash their grey waste container from their caravan and get the hose pipe that was on a campsite used to fill up water, get it right inside his waste water and give it a good wash out. Also, I've seen people wash their cassette toilets out with a hose and then someone come along and try to fill up their van. Now I never ever use the hoses supplied on a campsite. First and foremost, you don't know where it's been. It could be dropped on the floor. There could be rats on that in that area which carry leptospirosis, which is a water of oh, wheels disease, which is a waterborne parasite. Not good for you. Okay, that could be on the ground or in rat's urine around that hose. A dog could have cocked his leg up it, could have gone on the dirt. You don't know what's on it, you don't know what it's been used for. So I always unclip that and attach my own. Okay, my own hose is a food grade hose and it has no natural fibres contained in it. Now some garden hoses have a natural fibre inside, such as hemp, twine, etc. that they use as a strengthening agent because it's cheap and this can deteriorate over time and contain and harbour harmful bacteria, viruses and protozoal cysts, etc. They can get in amongst that. Once they're in there, they don't come out unless they want to have a party in your tummy. So mine's food grade. Also, every six months, I flush it through and submerge it in a bucket of Milton fluid, which is the fluid you use for washing your baby's bottles. Give it a good rinse out with that. If you do get something nasty in your tank, virus, bacteria, protozoal cyst, etc., amoeba, it's very, very difficult to then get it out. There are products on the market that you can use to sterilise your tank. However, it's got to be in there and the full extent of your water system has to be completely sanitised because it's touch sensitive, all these uh, different chemicals. So it's got to actually touch the thing in there or submerge it for a period of time. Now, if you've got protozoal cysts stuck in your push fitting on one of your pipes and it doesn't get the full dose, that will still be alive. Now, getting this stuff in your tank is very unlikely. You know, you don't really hear of anyone getting ill from drinking out of their motorhome tank. Motorhome tanks are made of polythene and polypropylene, which is pretty BPA free. Now, BPA, or bisphenol A, Raven, just eating something, is uh, a chemical that they use in the production of making certain plastic things. It's in a few different items. However, it's not water soluble, or not very water soluble. But the materials that your tank in your motorhome are made from contain none or very little amounts of this. It might be used in the plastic fittings and stuff, but you won't get that pretty much in your motorhome tank. So anything in your motorhome tank or van tank will get in there because of you, basically. So what I'm trying to say is, after you've used your motorhome tank for a little while, flushed it through like I do, fill it up, flush it out, fill it up, flush it out, fill it up, flush it out, several times, and then fill it up, you may get a bit of taste taint in there. Highly unlikely, because the amount of chlorine that we put in the water. Now to actually purify your water, the purification agent that they use is like a puri tab. It's like a bleach. It tastes horrible. I don't know if you've ever drunk Essex water, but it's like drinking Domestos. Hey! So you don't really want that in your tank because it tastes horrible, but that's all the taste you're really going to get from the water if you're in a high chlorinated area. Most Scottish water comes from boreholes, perfectly safe and perfectly nice to drink. It's all been filtered and treated. So, come on! Let's go this way, see if he chases me. So yes, the water in your tank is perfectly suitable to drink.
Right, so that's the water bit out of the way. So now you know all about water in your motorhomes. And now I'm going to show you something that I absolutely love. During my time teaching outdoor skills, I went through so many water bottles over the years. Different water bottles, always looking for the perfect drinks bottle for the outdoors. And uh, now this is not a paid review. This is completely off my own back. Now I find stainless steel bottles are the best, okay? You can boil water in a plastic bottle, but what chemicals transfer between the plastic while you're doing so and the water, I can't tell you, I'm not a scientist in that way. However, glass is very fragile, so that's out of the question. So stainless steel is the best option for a drinks bottle. Now this is what I used to use back in the day. I've got about three or four of these different types. This is a clean canteen one, okay, and it's a single skin or a single walled stainless steel drink bottle. Now the reason I used to use a single skin was because I could fill it up with food or water, suspend it over a fire, or put it on a heat source such as a stove, and then I could boil my water in there to render it safe to drink. Now the safest method of making water safe to drink is to actually filter that water for a canvas bag such as a mill bank bag which is what the military use it's just basically a canvas bag that you fill up to the top and let the water run down to a level which ensures all the stuff from the outside of the bag is all gone and then you can start filling your water bottle up you can use an old t-shirt something like that but I used to use a mill bank bag or I've used a t-shirt I've used a hat anything to get the particulate matter out of the water that's what you want out Okay, the bits and pieces that's floating around in the water. And then put it on a heat source and bring it to a rolling boil. Once it's come to a rolling boil, everything in there is dead. Viruses, bacteria, and any protozoal nasties that you might have floating around in there that's going to start to reproduce and go for its life cycle in your gut and insides and in your tummy, which is what causes you to be ill. That's how we pur purify water. You can use chemicals, such as iodine used to be a com common chemical in the UK to purify water, I think that's been outlawed now. And also Puritabs, which is a chlorine additive. That makes your water taste like bleach, it's absolutely flipping disgusting. And once all these chemicals get into your body, it gets into your body. Hence the reason you need to be sure of a water source before you fill your water bottle up from any dubious kinds of water sources because chemicals are the most difficult to get out of your water. Boiling the water in there only concentrates the chemicals. So if you're collecting water from a pond in farmland and they've got a chemical spray that they spray on the land and that runs off into that water source and you think, oh, I'll boil that to make it suitable for drinking, all that does is boils off the moisture like when you're making a sauce and you reduce it, it reduces the water and increases the amount of chemicals you're going to be ingesting. So that's something you have to bear in mind. So we always look for a nice, fresh, clean running source of water, ideally. Once we've filled it and boiled it, let it cool down appropriately, put the lid on and give it a good shake. Take the lid off and it'll probably go because of the pressure inside and the heat. Okay, put the lid on, do this and shake it, do this three or four times to reintroduce some oxygen into the water and then that brings it back to life. It doesn't taste so dead and flat, okay, like you do when you drink boiled water when you're not well. So that's what I used to use, a single skinned water bottle, stainless steel. It's much more utilitarian and um, you can cook, boil your water and club a zombie with it if you need be. All right. So that's what I used to use until I come across a company called One Green Bottle. Now my son come around one new year and he walked through the door and he had a bottle with him, a drinks bottle. And I see it and I was like, what's that? Because if you look in my bushcraft stash of kit I've got down my um, utility room down the side of my house, I must have I don't know, 30 different types of water bottle ranging from military to bladders plastic, metal, whatever, loads of different bottles. But this one caught my eye. And this is the one he had when he came round. One like this, and this is a two litre bottle with a flip top lid, okay? And I was like, what's that and where'd you get it from? Well his partner Taylor bought it for him for Christmas. And he said it's from One Green Bottle. So I looked the company up. What a fantastic flipping company and a fantastic product. Now I think this company's been going from 2006 and a lady started it up when she was looking for a water bottle 
for her son and uh, couldn't find a decent one. So being a bit of a technical whiz cube when it comes to science and water etc she designed her own bottle. Now all the plastic tops of these bottles are all recycled plastic taken from the oceans okay so it's completely recycled bpa free so it's not going to leach any nasties back into your water source when you're drinking and also it's double skinned so for me now i don't have to cook in a water bottle anymore or purify my water i've got gladys i drive around in which is perfectly okay for all that sort of stuff so all i need is to keep water cool or hot and these are absolutely amazing look who's on that one I'll talk about these in a minute. So that was my two litre water bottle. And that sits by my bed every day. And if I haven't drunk so much water through the day, I'll drain one of those in the evening. But this is what I use every single day. I think this is 750 millilitres. It's just slightly shy of a litre one. Because there's a litre one. You know that advert years ago for Bron Shavers where the guy said, Victor Kayam, that's his name. And he said, I like this shave so much I bought the company really bad American accent sorry guys but basically I haven't bought a company I think I've pretty much bought it out this is the uh, 750 mil I think this is and these are let me have a little look this is an epic I use all the epic range okay in this black color the coating on these I don't know what they coat them with but this is rolled around in my van I've dropped it left it rolling around been outside falling on the floor and it is absolutely tough this coating it's fantastic but this one's got a clip up coffee type sip cup on it with a hole there which is absolutely sealed solid look at that not a drop spills out of there and it's nice because it clicks into place so that's the drinks i use this every day okay and inside here i use one of these and this is a diffuser that fits all the epic bottles. So all the bottles I'm showing you now, this will fit inside. So you can put any kind of tea you like in there, any herbs or whatever, cloves, spices, whatever you like to have in your water, lemon, etc., dried lemon peel, dehydrated fruit. You can put in there and then insert that into the top of the bottle. Like so. Absolutely flipping brilliant. And that's stainless steel too. So I make my tea up, I like What's the one I like? Licorice and peppermint tea. Tea pigs do it. It's absolutely delicious. And I use that all the time. But in here's uh, jasmine green tea with some honey. Now I made this yesterday evening. What's the time now? So I made this about eight, half eight. It's now half, nearly half past three in the afternoon the following day. That's still red hot. That's still just hot enough to drink on the hot side. So all these are made out of recycled plastic, which is fantastic. Also, you can buy these little jelly bottoms that goes on the bottom and causes a rubber bumper on the bottom of your bottle to stop your bottle bottom from getting dented. Fantastic, right? So I've got that one, which I have my tea in every single day. I've got a one litre one that I'll carry around in Gladys when I'm driving to drink. And you can put anything in there. You can put, you can put your beer in there if you like. Wine, whatever. Chill it down, put it in there, and then you can take it out in here. It's not going to break the bottle. Absolutely flipping brilliant. Okay, it's got a flip top lid, this one. Double skinned. There's the inside of the lid. Okay, it's got like a little valve in it to let the air by so it doesn't turn your head inside out when you're trying to suck the water out of it. Okay, lets the air through so you can drink out of it nicely. But that's the litre one, that's fantastic. And as I said, that's the two litre one with a rubber jelly bottom on it. Now all the prices will be on the website. I can't remember all the prices or the complete range off the top of my head because she began since 2006 and now they've got a massive range. They sell drinks bottles, things you can put your drinks bottles in, food containers, all this sort of stuff, all made out of recycled BPA free material. Now I've just got, because I like all this stuff so much, I've just got this one. My one of these that I've been using for ages is now basically completely brown. Where it's had so much tea in it, it's gone completely brown. So this one needs a bit of action because this is a new one. Because I've got something else. And this is, it's about 550 millilitres. Could be wrong, but you'll have to look that up. So, And it's a small one. You can put your tea in. It's got a little carry handle. So ideal for your coffee in the morning with one of these lids on. God, I've got so many bottles everywhere. With one of these lids on. That's going to keep your coffee hot, literally red hot all day. And what I do sometimes, I'll take this off if I want it to cool down faster. And then you've got the surface area emitting the heat from the top and it actually cools down 
quicker. It's a nice smooth rim on the top as well for drinking with. And that doesn't get too hot. That's another good thing about, about being double walled or double skinned stainless steel. That doesn't get too hot. But ideally what you'd want in, on there is a lid. That's why I have my tin. One green bottle, absolutely fantastic. As I say, called all the plastics recycled, being dredged out the oceans, which is good. They've got a great ethos on their company. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, I can't speak highly enough. So if you're looking for a drinks bowl, one green bottle. I'll leave all the information in the description below so you can have a look at that and all the yours. They have deals on from time to time and all the packaging comes in these little tubes. It's all recyclable. But Sammy likes these for putting her pens and pencils in in her craft room. They're flipping brilliant as well. So they also fund Ocean Cleanup. So they're a massively green company and their products have got an infinite lifespan. You're not going to be throwing that away anytime soon. As I say, this coating on here is so tough. I'll have to find out what that is, but that is so tough, that coating. Really, really good. Anyway, so if you want to get one, have a look at the link below in the description. As I say, this is not affiliated. I've been looking for a, a top drinks bottle for flipping donkey's years, and this lady has actually got off her butt and designed an absolutely fantastic one and it's took me all this time since 2006 to actually bloody find it but anyway I found it now and I've got a shed load of them I think I've gone through the whole range anyway one green bottle absolutely fantastic get the jelly bottoms as well I mean if you wanted to you could make literally two litres of tea how cool is that go and have a look in the description also stickers look at that my stickers in the comments below the first 10 people get a free sticker free postage and i'll send it out to you okay in the uk only so if you want one the first 10 people in the comments below that say jp please may i have a sticker stick an email over to my email address which is in the about part of me on my on my page and i'll send you a sticker out of the post as that good and i very kind so there we are. One green bottle will keep you hydrated in your van. You can put freezing cold water in there. That one, you can put ice in there for your gin and tonics. And I've had one of these outside, I kid you not, outside with ice in. The outside where it's black in the sunshine has been so hot, you open it up and the ice lasts all day in that, all day. So if you're outside drinking your gin and tonics, or you want to fill this up with a nice cold bottle of Chablis and keep it next to you with a few ice cubes in it, that's what you need. They're flipping brilliant. So keep hydrated, guys. There we go. Water and one green bottle. Hope you enjoyed that. That's about my third or fourth take on that video because I just keep rambling on. It's what I do. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. You stay safe. Stay sane. Look after yourselves. I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care. Bye.